Hello, welcome to One Minute Wiser. This is Christy Bridges. And you know, when the angels came and they told the shepherds Jesus was born, they filled the sky with songs about this joyful good news. Good will to men, peace on earth, joy in the highest. And you know, Jesus did bring us joy. He told us how to pray. He modeled for us a life of connection to God that made supernatural possible. And then he gave us life so that we would be able to go straight to God. We wouldn't have to wait in line for a priest. We could have that father-daughter connection, father-son connection with God. And so in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16 and 17, Paul gives us a command. He says, always be joyful. <laughs> and at first, if you're going through something, you might look at him and go, seriously? But he goes on to give us a tip about how to always be joyful. Several tips, actually. The first one is never stop praying. When we are continuously in communication with God, then number one, we're aware that we're eternal and these circumstances are not. But number two, we know we are never alone. We're never alone. He's right there and he's got it under control. Now, if you tell some people, never stop praying, and they don't understand what prayer can be, you might get a litany of, Lord, I need this. Lord, fix this. Lord, hurry up. Lord, are you doing this? Lord, I don't see it yet. Lord, I'm claiming it. Um, but if you had a relationship like that, where someone only gave demands and requests and pleadings, it wouldn't last long. Prayer is so much more than that. No matter what you're doing, you can stop and notice something God has done and say, wow, that was really good. Thank you. God bless you tonight. Give it a try.